Okay. <coughs> Hi, cuties. My first sit down and talk video of 2020. And I'm wearing a face mask, as you can see. This is the Rice face mask from the Body Shop. I think it's uh, new. I don't. I I didn't buy the like actual face mask. I just got a test. There will be a lot of cuts in this video because I'm coughing. I'm sick, or I'm kind of. I'm just like getting over being sick. So now I just have this annoying cough. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so I was thinking of having a new little series where I talk about anything actually like i just sit here and talk about anything and i'm not wearing my glasses right now so I'm, i am very blurry a series where i talk about anything discuss things answer questions but i just sit here in my face mask and i have a little drink or something i was thinking tea but today i just have um it's like a juice berries juice something so that's my idea of a new little series where i just sit and chat with you about anything i just sit here and chill have a face mask on, sit in like pajamas or whatever and just chill with you. If you like that idea, please let me know down below. And this year I want to interact with you more because I feel like not a lot of people are interacting anymore. Like I miss seeing comments saying what you think about my videos or asking me something or if I ask you something, you answer or something like that. Like in the comments, I miss that and I really want that back because obviously I want to talk to my followers. So I have not only been sick. Bunny has been sick as well, and it's been hell. Like, no, not even exaggerating. It's been really, really frustrating. She was sick for about a week. I took her to the vet. Turns out it was what I thought it was, constipation. But it's not really constipation, because Bunny's poop are supposed to be hard. Her poop has been, like, not how it's supposed to be. Um, like, mushy and, like, kind of like our poop. Bunny's poop aren't supposed to be like that. They're supposed to have really hard poops. So it's not really constipation like we have. It's, well, let's call it bunny constipation because they struggle to get out, get their poop out, but it's not hard. It's mushy instead. So, so she did an x-ray at the vet. Turns out she has, or she had a lot of food in her stomach, but it wasn't, she wasn't able to get it out. We don't know why it's like that. I mean, it could be like something that she ate. It could be she got too much of specific food. It could be, you know, stomach problems are very normal for bunnies. They took her in for some hours. I had to come pick her up five hours later and they gave her like a lot of medicine to get her, uh, like they tried to get her uh, whole stomach system started and um, she got a drip thing, you know, that you have like in your hand and you have like a bag of something. Usually when you don't eat, you get that. She got that and they got her tummy system started and I picked her up. This was three days ago, maybe. Something like that, I think. The thing is with bunnies, you have... It's very difficult to know when your bunny is sick because they hide, they hide their symptoms. So you need to look at their behavior instead. She is a very lazy bunny. She lays, lays down a lot. But when she is sick, she lays all the time. Like she doesn't move. She moves maybe once a day. In 24 hours, she moves like once. Once or twice. And that's like crazy when she's sick. Oh my god, I'm itching. Barely pooping or not pooping at all. She barely ate. She barely drank any water. Or she drank a lot of water when I took the water to her. She drank a lot of water. Yeah, laying down a lot, no energy. Doesn't want candy, which is crazy because she loves candy. <laughs> Whenever you crinkle the bag, she comes running. She didn't do that. Basically, you could just just look at your bunny's behavior. Uh, you need to know their normal behavior to know when they're sick. Like if Tina's paw is hurting, she doesn't hide it. If Bunny's paw is hurting, she hides it, if that makes sense. I took her home, the vet told me that everything went well, she still hadn't pooped when I came to pick her up. I got critical care to force feed her like three times a day, something like that. She had to have 80 to 107, no, 120 milliliters of critical care, like in 24 hours. She told me if she doesn't poop tomorrow, you have to come in with her again. When she came home, she pooped one, one little poop, which was good. But it was just like one mushy poop. So I was like, yay, okay, so I don't need to take her in tomorrow. The next day she pooped a little more, but it was mushy again, you know. I forced feed her, forced her to run around. The vet told me to do that. I had to like push her around so she runs around, but she didn't want to, but she had to, you know. <coughs> All those things to help her get better. It's been really overwhelming and frustrating because obviously you don't want to see your cat or dog or rabbit or whatever you have sick. I've been really just 
not annoyed, I don't want to say annoyed, but overwhelmed, just like so much on me. And there's other personal things that's happened as well that I can't really talk about here. Because, well, obviously it's private. I need to keep some things private, obviously. And the good news are that she pooped yesterday. She pooped a lot, I counted them. 27 poops. And they were pretty round. She pooped in bun- uh, in Tina's- not bunny- in Tina's uh, bed. Like what? I know she's probably marking because she peed there as well. Nenis is her name, Nenon, but I call her Nenis. Nenis is potty trained, so she doesn't pee or anything else anywhere else, only when she is marking her territory, which she does sometimes in Tina's bed. Oh yeah, she ate candy yesterday too. I came with a bag and crinkled the bag. She came running to me. Really happy about that. So obviously it's going well. She's getting better. Yeah, that's that's the little story about Bunny or yeah, whatever. She's feeling a little better now. Oh yeah, the vet called me yesterday, but I, I, I missed her call, like, right by the second, and I tried to call back, but it was already closed, like, the, the ones that I called was, was already closed. I hope she calls back today, because she was wondering how it was going for Nanis. Sometimes when you get a pet, it takes a little while for you to kind of open your heart for them, if that makes sense. Obviously, I wanted to take care of her and help her and, like, help her live a good life and all that right when I got her. But I don't, you don't really know the, the animal right when you get it, so it takes a little while. It's just now recently, like the last, like some months ago, that I really like felt like I love her. I love Bunny. I love her just like I love Tina. That was the beginning of my 2020. Me being sick, Bunny being sick. It's just been really, really overwhelming and um, fi finally it's kind of over, kind of. How was your 2020, the beginning of 2020? It's been like a week now, right? Yeah, it's been a little bit more than a week. It's the 11th now. Let me know how your the beginning of your 2020 was. Even if it was shit. Even if it was, like, great. I, just, I still want to know. Also, I did tell you some of my goals in the last video, my cleaning video. I guess I could tell you some now. Also, what are your goals? Let me know down below. My mask is, like, falling apart. So, I'm just gonna read from here so I remember them. These are not all of them, just some of them. Less to no dairy, basically... Eat less dairy or no dairy at all. I don't eat a lot of dairy anyways. It's just like whenever I do eat dairy, it's like crap food. Chili cheese, that's cheese or uh, milkshake or... Usually I do buy the vegan milkshakes instead because they recently started having vegan milkshakes at this fast food restaurant. Or like cheese fries or something like that. It's always... Or the ice cream. That's like usually the... the, the, the the things that has dairy and that I eat and that's like once once a week less procrastinating because whenever I need to do something important write some papers or you know I, it's a lot of personal things <laughs> but like insurance and uh, all that stuff whenever I get papers and stuff I just don't want to do it because I get anxiety, like I freak out when I don't understand. I don't want to do it because it's really, really difficult for me to do those things, like social things. Uh, call, if I need to call someone, I think it's really, 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 really hard because I freak out, I get anxiety, and so I procrastinate. But also like just small things like, oh, I need to vacuum clean. Oh, I'm gonna do that later. I need to vacuum clean. Oh, I'm gonna do that later. No, just do it right away, you know. Also small things like that. Do more social things. Again, I struggle with social interactions <laughs> uh, I, I'm really it also gives me a lot of anxiety and I I don't like being around a lot of people I never have I don't like it I feel extremely uncomfortable around everyone I also feel uncomfortable right now <laughs> I don't talk about that a lot so it might be like a surprise to you but I do always feel extremely uncomfortable around everyone insecure and just uncomfortable especially when people look at me also because my nose i have a bump on my nose so when people are sitting here and looking at me like this i'm just like i want to like burn my face off like it it's just, i don't know it just feels like ugh, ugh, you know i don't know how to explain it if anyone feels the same let me know also another reason why i avoid talking about these things is because it's also very difficult for me to explain things how i feel and uh I don't like to be taken the wrong way. Like if I say something and I mean something else and people take me the wrong way, I'm I'm screwed. <laughs> I don't I don't know how to get out of that even if I even if it was something that I didn't even mean. Yeah, I don't know. Stop biting nails completely because I go like months with really nice nails and then 
I, I don't buy it a lot of my nails anymore. I d recently did, but I buy more of like the skin around my nails. It's just an anxiety thing. Ooh, something I'm really excited for is taking allergy tests. I'm so excited for that. Jesus, my face mask is everywhere. <coughs> <coughs> oh. <coughs> Take allergy tests. There is a person in my life. Um, I call him my second dad because he is like a dad, not my daddy or anything, that's completely different. Uh, it's like a friend, a family friend, but I also see him as my dad. Uh, also, my dad has met him and he comes to visit here sometimes. Uh, but he wanted to take an allergy test where you um, take like some of your hair and you send it in. They test like 750 different things that you can be allergic to, which is so cool. Like food related things or and things that aren't food related. If you're like lactose intolerant or gluten or if you're missing any vitamins like that you, that you don't have enough of and stuff like that, it's really really cool and I've always wanted to do that. So he wanted to do it and it costs some money obviously. It costs like for one maybe a thousand for one person, but you got it for cheaper if it was three. So me and uh, this, uh, my, my second dad and my actual dad is gonna do it. Send Harris to, uh, first we I thought it was England, uh, Britain, Great Britain, but they had it in Stockholm as well. So we're gonna send our Harris to Stockholm. They um, test it to see if you have any allergies and everything like that. And then you get the results in like 15 days which I really need because I have a lot of allergy symptoms and I don't know what it is. I just hope it's not Tina. I hope it's not. I hope I'm not allergic to dogs or bunnies. Because almost all my life I've had this problem with a lot of... What is it called? Like I... <coughs> I do a lot of that. Mucus? Is that what it's called? I don't know what it's called. It's just like... <coughs> and my dad does that a lot so I'm pretty sure it's allergies. I never had an allergy test taken and I have these symptoms all year round. Every... All the time. I'm guessing it's some food or um, like dust or something like that. Just hope it's not teen or a bunny. Jesus. Ninis. But I'm really, really, really excited about that. If you want, if maybe you want a video on that. I don't know, maybe that's completely like not interesting at all, but I think it's interesting and I'm very excited for it because I wanted to do it my whole life. And it has like 750 different things. 750 or maybe 800, something like that, which is a lot of things. I don't know when it's gonna happen, maybe in like a month or so, so it's not like now, now. Follow rules better, because recently I'm not really good at following rules, like my bedtime and stuff. Be without yummies four months altogether. I don't mean like four months, like January, February, you know, not like that. I mean like maybe next month I'm gonna be without yummies. Yummies is candy, junk food, anything bad food basically and then maybe in three months I will have another month and then after that maybe another month so it's like this year I'm gonna be without that for four months not letting people hurt me over and over like not letting the same person run me down run me over just multiple times and the last thing or two things kind of the first one is have a youtube schedule i don't think i've ever had a youtube schedule but i'm kind of excited for it i don't know yet so if i tell you a day or two where i'm gonna post videos now i'm not saying that's gonna be it i'm just thinking this is just what my, like what i'm thinking i was thinking tuesdays and thursdays it's gonna be like my my set days and then maybe i will post something in between if i feel like it so i at least have two days that's said, you know, that you know you're gonna get a video on. I don't know how this is gonna work. I'm not good with schedules. Also with my mental health, health, I don't know how it's gonna work because I don't know how I'm gonna feel on, on a Tuesday. Maybe I'll feel like crap, but I'm gonna try. I think, I don't know, I'm gonna ask you, do you think Tuesdays and Thursdays are a good YouTube day? Or maybe Tuesdays and Fridays? Let me know, let me know what you think. And then I will be free on weekends because I really need that. I know you think like, oh, you barely post any videos and why do you need a little time off? I know, I know. I mean, I need time off because I always feel guilty that I don't do enough. I always feel like, oh, I need to do that. I, need to. I never re really relax. So my weekends are gonna be the days I relax and, you know, for my mental health and all that stuff. And the last thing kind of has to do with my uh, Instagram. I haven't really written it down, but I've been thinking about it lately. I've made like 10,000s of Instagram accounts because I've deleted the ones. 
I've had and then I made another one because I felt like it was toxic and whatever. I have one account now that is private. I don't really accept people on there, especially not dudes because you are disgusting. Um, there are some dudes on my account that is really nice, but I get a lot of um, just disgusting messages and you can simply fuck off. But I was thinking of making a an Instagram account that's my main account that is open and then on my private account I post a lot of other things like more personal things rants yeah things like that and then on my main account it's just like for anybody it's open you know I don't know if that's a good idea let me know that's pretty much it oh yeah and post more on my Instagram because I barely ever post that's some of my to do stuff for this year let me know about the YouTube schedule. Do you like Tuesdays and Thursdays or Tuesdays and Fridays? Uh, maybe it was it would be better if I do did have a YouTube schedule. But again, maybe sometimes I will just have like maybe it's a Tuesday and I don't post. That's because I'm not feeling good mentally. But I would definitely do my best. Yeah, I'm gonna talk a little bit more to you <laughs> about uh, how I feel and because I know a lot of people want me to do that. I don't really like doing that sometimes. It depends on what it is, but this feels fine. But I just, I'm just very scared to get judged and all that. That's why I don't really talk about that stuff anymore. I used to do it, I used to not care at all, but now I just feel uncomfortable and not really wanting to share that stuff on my YouTube, talking like this. I don't know if it's like everyone's looking at me. Obviously you are, I, but I mean, mm. It's very difficult to explain. As I said, I'm very bad at explaining. I was gonna talk about one more subject, but this video is already really, really long. It was about the Doled thing, the Nymphet thing. We don't use Nymphet anymore, we only use Doled. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. Where I talk about uh, why we should, or why why we should change the term for Nymphet and instead use like Doled to get away from the whole Humber Tumber thing and only have Dolet because it's fashion and like music taste. I still want to do those types of videos But I was gonna discuss it with you in a video which was supposed to be this one But as I said this video is already long enough and you see I've written down <laughs> You can't even see Jesus Christ, but it's a lot. It's just Yeah, you see you don't see, but you see <laughs> that's gonna be in another video Maybe another video like this, but let me know what you think about this type of video where I just chat about anything maybe next time maybe you can ask you ask me some questions down below that I can answer for the next next video maybe like just honestly anything anything not just like what's your favorite color I don't mean that I mean like something that I can discuss and like talk about whether it's about me or something else if you want me to talk about a specific subject have like follow-up questions because it's difficult to me to get started if I don't have like a specific question yeah I hope that makes sense. Let's say veganism, and you want me to talk about veganism, for example. I don't, I don't think it'll be fun to talk about anyways, but just let's just say that. And then your other question is like, would you ever be vegan? What do you think about vegans? What do you, what, what vegan food do you like? For example, you know, just follow up questions. If you have like a have like specific subject you want me to talk about. I know you want to see little videos as well. Let me know what type of little videos. I'm not really comfortable making the ones where I talk. I did one not that long ago where I baked and I don't think I want to do that. At least not now, like where I talk. I could do one where I don't talk because it's very, very personal to me. And again, I don't really feel comfortable. Uh, but I wanted to try it out, but now I know that I don't really feel comfortable doing that. I can definitely do another little space baking, just I don't talk. Jesus, I've been talking a lot now. I think I've been talking for like 35 minutes. If you want me to continue this little series, anything specific you want me to talk about, do in the video. Maybe I could actually do, finally do my skincare video. I haven't done that. Je Jeez, I just realized. Why have I not done my skincare video? I told you I was going to do it. And now I got kind of got my acne back because I have my arm implant. So my hormones are like, my body's still not used to the implant. So I kind of got my pimples back. And now I know at least it's because of my implant. Happy 2020. I want to do new videos this year, but I also need your help. Like what new things you want to see. I already have some ideas, but if you have anything that I haven't done before, or maybe something that I should bring back that I did years ago. I know I should do things that I think is fun, but I like to mix it. Obviously, 
I, I'm not gonna do anything that I don't think is fun at all. With a little space baking, I wanted to try it out. In that moment when I made the video, I was a little bit uncomfortable, but I wanted to see how I felt. So that's what I do with videos sometimes. I try it out, see how I feel. If I don't like it after, I, I'm not gonna do that again. Maybe I'll, a twist to it, but I'm not gonna do that exact thing. But I would never do a video that I really, really, really don't wanna do. So don't worry about that. Come with your ideas. Jesus, you have a lot of things to comment now. You're goals your, how the beginning of your 2020 was if you what do you think about a youtube schedule tuesday thursday or tuesday friday maybe wednesday friday what videos you want to see that's it for this video this is going to be a pain in the ass to edit you want to see the allergy thing maybe the results i think that would be very very cool it's not sponsored or anything like that at all i wish i was but i'm gonna have to pay for it myself <laughs> thank you for watching if you come this far please leave a like if you watch this far leave me a heart in the in the comments <laughs> gonna go wash this off i've had this on for too long thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video love you bye